Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, we'll be going through a few basic features of the Twitter API using Tweepy. We'll be doing things such as tweeting, following, liking, working with the timeline, and much more. We'll be using Python 3 for this tutorial, and I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor. And I'll also be assuming that you have Tweepy set up, but if you don't, you can click the link in the description or the icon that appears at the top right of your screen in order to watch a tutorial video on how to set up Tweepy. One last thing before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if it helps and you would like to see more tutorials like this. Let's get started. All right, this will be the bot account that I'll be using for this tutorial. And if we head over to Visual Studio Code, I just have the project set up here. This is just the initialization code, which I explained in the Tweepy setup tutorial. The Tweepy library and Twitter API offer many features, but we'll be focusing on the basic ones, such as tweeting, which we can do by accessing the update status method inside of our API instance object. We do this by typing api.updateStatus. And inside of this method, we pass a string of the actual text that we we want to tweet. So I'll be typing this will be our tweet. If we run our program we can wait until the execution is finished and if we return to Twitter and refresh the page we see our tweet right here. Back inside our project I'll be commenting out this line of code and we'll then print all tweets inside of our timeline. Which might sound advanced but it's really easy you just need to bear with me. If we want to find all tweets in our timeline we can create a variable called timeline tweets and we'll store an iterable called home timeline which we get from our API instance object. This will store all tweets in our timeline when this line of code gets executed. Now to get all the tweets we can use a for loop to iterate through each tweet and then we can just use an f string to print the author of the tweet using tweet.author.name and then just a dash to separate the tweet author from the text of the tweet and then just the text of the tweet by typing tweet.text. If we now run this we should actually start to see tweets from our timeline coming in and since my account follows Elon Musk, NASA and such I'll be getting a lot of their tweets. When the program has stopped running we can actually still use this code and we can try to like each tweet in our timeline using the create favorite method which is inside the API class. Now it's likely to catch errors so we'll be creating a try and accept block. In the try block we can type api.createFavorite and inside of this method we need to pass the id of the tweet we want to like. So to get the id we need to reference our tweets so we type tweet and then just dot id to access the id of the tweet. In our accept block we type accept exception as error and then we can just print the error we get. If we now run our program while having twitter open on the left side we can see the program fetching all the tweets and when it's finally done, I'll refresh my liked page and as we can see it now displays the tweets that the bot has liked. Back in our project, I'll comment out all this code as well. I'll now be showing you how to get some information from users as well as following users. To do this, we can create a variable which will reference our user and we do this by typing api.getUser. And there are a few parameters you can choose for this method, but I'll choose screen name, which is a parameter that needs the screen name of the account we want to find. And when I say screen name, I really mean the name of the account that has the at. So if you go to SpaceX, we see this one with the at. So I'll copy this and back inside our project, I'll just paste it as a string inside this parameter. Now we can go ahead and print the name of the account using dot name. And we can also print the description of the account using dot description. There's so much more information, but these are the basic two that I'll be showing you. We can then also use the create friendship method to follow users. We access this method inside of our API instance object. And in this method, we need to pass the ID of the account we want to follow. And we can do so using dot ID. So let's run it. And as we can see, we get the name and description in the output window. And then we can go back to Twitter. And if we now check which accounts we follow, we see that the bot now follows SpaceX. Now there are a lot more things we can do using Tweepy and the Twitter API. I just showed you a small piece of some of the features. But in upcoming tutorials, I'll be creating three real world bots that use the Tweepy library. So stay tuned for those. Other than that though, that was the end of the video. The code will be available on GitHub. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or if you found any problems with the code. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and I hope to see you in the next one.